Dale Jr. gives an update on Junior Motorsports to the Cup Series. Let's talk about it. Coming up next. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hope you're doing good today. All right, let's cut to the clip from Sirius XM Radio. There is zero movement on our end. Um, you know, me and my sister Kelly, uh, LW, and everybody at Junior Motorsports are always looking forward for an opportunity to get into the Cup Series. We're interested in that, but it has to make sense. I think beyond just trying to get into the Cup Series, I think about my own family, my kids their future and, and what I need to do, what's smart for me personally, financially, to make sure that um, long after I'm gone, everything is in good order. You know, for me personally, to take such a large risk financially, I feel like I'm being a bit selfish. So, um, you know, I would be looking, me and Kelly, I think, would be more interested in a partnership of some kind to, to get ourselves to that level. Um, and there's opportunities there, but haven't they haven't felt just right. Another key component for me and, and, and Junior Motorsports is that we want to manage the team. We, we, we don't want to slap our name on a current product or a current organization. They have their own shop and all that. We don't want to do that. We want to, we want to run the team out of our building and, and manage the decisions on, on personnel and um, all of those things, right? So um, finding all of those, you know, checking all of those boxes is hard. Uh, it, all of the opportunities that have come our way haven't checked those boxes, and I don't think we're willing to do, I don't think we're willing to compromise just to be there. Um, that's not a reason to do it. All right, so you heard that there, but I thought I would break it down just a little bit because I think there's a little bit more going on to that than just the surface level of it. First off, you saw him say that there has been uh, zero movement uh, and it has to make sense for them. I think that that is a little bit of politicking to get the uh, owners more money in this new TV deal. Obviously, the owners versus NASCAR is a storyline that's been going on. And obviously, if Dale Jr. became an owner in the Cup Series, he would want maximum TV revenue. So I think that part of it is just a little bit of sort of politicking to get the maximum amount of money for the team owners. So I wouldn't worry too much about that especially when you get to this part of the quote where he says, me and Kelly, I think would be more interested in a partnership of some kind to get ourselves to that level that there's opportunities out there, but we haven't felt just right. Another key component is we want to manage the team out of junior motorsports shop and just slap our name and not just slap our name on another organization. We are not willing to compromise just to be there. If we're going cup racing, we want to manage it. Kelly has been working on it every single day, at least for the last two and a half to three years. So see that last part right there is why I say don't worry about it. She's been working on it every single day for the last two and a half to three years. Uh, but that's why I say don't worry about the there's been zero movement. They are working on it. Like I said, that first part uh, there, in my opinion, was a little bit of politicking uh, to get more money for the team owners in NASCAR. But the second part of that, uh, or actually the first part of that quote, is they would be more interested in a partnership. They don't just want to slap their name on something. They want to be in control of it, and they want to run it out of Junior Motorsports' shop. So that le leads me to what teams would they partner with? They said there have been offers out there, of course. So what teams really would make sense at this point to partner up with? So let's go down the list of who I think they would be. And first off, all the big teams would have to be out of it because, like I said, they don't want to just slap their name on it. So that would exclude the Hendricks, Penske's, RCRs, all those teams like that. They would probably want it to be their own deal. So that would exclude, you know, sort of your bigger teams that are already funded. But let's look at the Chevrolet teams first. Sort of flying under the radar, and I think the first team that you have to put out there is Colleg. Colleg currently is based at RCR, so I don't think that they would have a problem moving to another shop because, like I said, they're already <laughs> basically running it out of RCR as, as it is, so I don't think they would have a problem running it out of Junior Motorsports. That seems to line up and be a perfect partnership. Uh, Dale Jr. has spoken very highly of uh, Justin Haley here recently saying he thinks that he is going to be a future champion. So that one right there lines up because he's already got a driver there that he likes. It's a two-car team. So I think uh, another thing they're looking at is they want it to be a two-car team because that would make it make sense more financially, having more sponsor money coming in and things like that. So that would actually, not, not I guess on a lot of people's radars, but I think Colleg would have to be the first one you look at. 
The second one you have to look at is the one that everybody has been talking about until recently because they're at least, at the very least, flirting with Andretti Autosport according to the rumors and things like that, but Spire. Spire Motorsports has two teams. They have the Hendrick Alliance. They have Corey LaJoy, and I think all that, I think Dale Jr. is a Corey LaJoy fan, so I think all that lines up to be another one they look at, but everybody talks about Spire and Junior Motorsports. That's been one that's been thrown out there a lot, so this one's not as surprising, but like I said, I kind of iffy because it looks like uh, Andretti Autosport is uh, looking at that one. One, but could it be Andretti Autosport with Junior Motorsport? Could it be some combination of that at Spire? Uh, that's another thing you'd have to look at too. So you got to sort of think outside the box. Just because Andretti is talking to him uh, doesn't mean uh, that Junior is not necessarily interested in it. Another team that could possibly be a little bit unlikely, but JTG Doherty, they have said multiple times that they want to sell. The only bi big stumbling block I see here is that it's only a one car team. But they don't have that many employees, but with a few employees they got, they're very much quality employees because you see how well that car is running this year. It's been in the top 15 in points, Daytona 500 winner. They know what they're doing over there, even though it's not a massive organization. I don't think they would have necessarily a problem moving over and partner, partnering and going to junior motorsports. So that would be one that I would look at right there as well. And two more that might be a little bit of a reach here. But first off, Front Row Motorsports, yes, I know they're with Ford. But I think if they could get into that junior uh, motorsports facility and things like that, if they were, if they wanted to partner and do something like that, I think obviously the switch to Chevrolet wouldn't be a huge deal or anything like that. If they wanted to do it, we know that they have quality people that work on those cars. Uh, they do a great job over there. So that would be another one I'll throw in here. And then this last one I want to throw out there because... Let's, let's say Junior moves into the Cup Series five or six years down the line. At that point, this one might make sense, although they just are switching over to Toyota next season, and that's Legacy Motor Club. Legacy Motor Club, yes, they're going to be Toyota next year, but let's say five or six years down the, uh, down the road, they want to you know jump in and go to Junior Motorsports. They just bring all their equipment over there. We know they've got good people. We know this is going to be a down year for them because Chevrolet pulled the factory support and all that good stuff. But they have that Jimmy Johnson connection. And, and Dale Jr. is already on record as saying that he wanted to start a team with Jimmy Johnson. So who knows, you know, three or four or five, six years down the road, maybe they switch back to uh, Chevrolet from Toyota and Jr. Uh, Jr. and uh, Jimmy Johnson start that team, partner up and do that team that they wanted to do originally. So who knows what could happen in the future. But I think I would keep them on my radar as well. But also it could be any other team. Uh, who knows? Like I said, I think they're actively looking at it, so I wouldn't worry too much about the uh, there's been zero movement. I think that's going to be the headline that uh, catches a lot of people's attention, but I think, once again, it's just a negotiating tactic, but I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. That's all I got for you on this one. If you're not subscribed, I would appreciate your subscription. If you're already subscribed, you know I appreciate you guys as well. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace. If you want a t-shirt, hat, sticker, or anything like that, Visit the merch store. Link is in the description. All right, I'm really gone now. Um, um.